guys. Um, moving in. I got to the oh, <laughs> I got to the back side of this ridge. And I'm gonna loop around and kind of come cross hill to the deer. So hopefully it works and I can at least get pretty close and maybe get an opportunity. It's pretty exciting. So we'll see what happens. So far so good. Closed a lot of distance and uh, it's definitely hot. I'm sweating a lot so I'm trying to stay in the shade as much as I can and limit my sweating but really hard so wish me luck where I keep going. <laughs> I gave it my best shot and uh, wasn't quite good enough this time. Um, wind got a little shifty up here. Try my best to keep it good. And I'm not sure if he winded me or saw me or what, but um, it probably was about 100 yards and then he got up and bounded on out of there. So it's all good. It's fun. Um, good practice getting, getting in stock in shape again. Um, yeah. I'm not too bummed. It was a really nice buck, that's for sure. But uh, just wasn't able to close the distance this time. So we'll keep trying, and hopefully next time we can get a little closer. This is an update on yesterday afternoon and uh, this morning's glassing period. Yesterday afternoon, we we drove the truck out to a spot in open range country, and we had seen from a long distance away some muleys out there. So we checked out that area found a few rises that we could glass off of and uh, it was it was slim pickings but right towards the end things picked up we maybe saw about eight nine deer and uh, they were all does we couldn't even find a single buck but we're trying to find that that Shangri-La where all the bucks are hiding and we didn't find it last night this morning we hiked up to where we had seen that big um, white tail buck I mean, coos deer buck, and uh, where James got a stalk on a nice eight by eight, and we glassed in it. And honestly, it's really slow this morning. We we glassed our rear ends off, and uh, we saw three individual does. I didn't see a single one, but anyway, it's starting to get past the time where they go to bed, and we're gonna head back to the Polaris. up a pretty big hill three actually it's like this but uh, go into a spot where we've seen a lot of good coos deer bucks so hopefully this morning we're able to see one that's uh, in an opportunistic place to make an attempt at a stalk so See what happens. I'm excited to get to glass and see what we can dig out today. Check out this view. Beautiful. So um, we're gonna keep it going and we'll see what we can get into. good morning hiked up here in the dark and uh, got up on this high point so we probably been glass in maybe a half hour or so saw a mule deer and I got my spotting scope as quick as I could and by the time I got it he was over the ridge so who knows if it was a buck or a doe it was a long ways off but we're excited um, probably got at least two couple more hours of good glassing so hopefully we find a deer in a position to put a stock in 
and uh, yeah, we're excited to see what happens. And you know, might have been a little tired, you know, with these 3 a.m. wake ups, but guess what? The animals don't care if you're tired, so uh, neither can we. We got to get out here, we got to try our best to get the job done, so see what we can find. gentlemen it's a big day it's a big day I do believe that if you notice something different about me I lost my hat that ugly old thing I've been trying to lose it for 10 years I bet I haven't lost it yet but somehow in the jungle I went through he got taken off my head and I didn't notice it it may be up top near where we were glassing, but I don't think so. So I think this is a big day. I don't know if you'll recognize me anymore so suave and deboner with a new hat. I already know which one I'm going to. I got these Vanguard tripods and they did me a bro deal when I bought a new head because I wore it out. And they sent me a free Vanguard hat. And when, the second I put it on, I said, that's the best feeling hat I ever had. It's camouflage. It's beautiful and it feels good. So I'm sort of looking forward to it. I don't know what it's like to hunt without my lucky hat anymore. But with my bum luck, we'll probably find it. If we get like 200 yards downwind of it, the thing stinks so much, we'll probably wind it and find it. Or heck, these deer may bring it back to me saying this is the ugliest thing we've ever found out here. You gotta take it out of the woods. But either way, I lost my hat. And by the way, I just walked past the rattlesnake, go back there. He wasn't too happy that I was in his drainage. It was a small one like this, black. And he scared me, of course. But not too bad. I wasn't too close. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Back up behind me up this canyon is where we have been glassing every morning. We've seen some really good coos deer bucks up there. Um, and then behind us here there's a water hole um, that we think the coos deer are funneling into. So um, we've got a pop-up blind and really proud of this. Cut a nice little shelf, um, good shooting lanes and good distance uh, to the water. So hopefully if a deer comes in, it can make a really good clean shot. Um, yeah, that's, that's what we got going. So I'm gonna actually hop in here and just sit the rest of the day. So it's gonna be a long one. Uh, it's just under 100 degrees, so definitely pretty warm. But uh, I think that, uh, I think this is a really good chance to potentially get opportunity at one of these big coos deer bucks. Um, I filled this tag, this over-the-counter Arizona tag, uh, six years in a row, or five years in a row. This is my sixth year attempting to do it. Um, all five have been spot and stock so far, so I don't generally sit water holes this season, but uh, he, we always say you gotta do what it takes to be successful, and I think this is a pretty good plan. So I'm gonna hop in the blind, try to beat the heat, and see what comes in. Probably not. 
not even enough to keep the dust down, so feeling pretty good. Hopefully this rain gets the animals moving, gets the deer up on their feet, and gets them to the water hole. 